a table full of baking attracts a lot of attention. Students and faculty got to indulge their sweet tooth last week at a fundraising bake sale in James Dunn. People may have enjoyed the goodies, but more importantly, they were given the opportunity to help a nation in crisis. It's been really good. I mean, people even just sitting here in James Dunn are, you know, they'll be sitting working on homework and they'll just get up and walk over and buy a cookie or a brownie or something. So, you know, it's, it's on their minds. They're really aware of it. And, you know, as university students, we're not always aware of what's going on in the world. And it really makes a point of, you know, we're becoming more aware of what's happening and we want to help. The 7.0 magnitude earthquake that ripped apart Haiti's capital affected around 3 million people. 700,000 people were left homeless, while others had to wait for news of loved ones trapped under the rubble. Since January 12th, aid has been pouring into Haiti, and St. Thomas students have reacted with various fundraising ideas. And that's why the students came with the clothing idea, uh, the clothing drive, because I knew that it would be money, funds is what the organizations want first. But students don't have the funds, but something tangible that they could do is the clothing drive. And that's going to be needed, so I think what's important is that people need to have a sense that they can contribute or help. So even if it's 25 cents that they donate today, somebody else donates a $20 bill, it's, it's, it's all equal in that it's help. Yeah. The university is making it easy to donate, with bake sales, a clothing drive, and a Red Cross booth set up in James Dunn. Canada has been quick to respond to the devastation in Haiti. The government has promised to match individual donations to eligible organizations up to $50 million. Here at St. Thomas, fundraising events are continuing across campus. Students can keep an eye on the website for more information. For Stu Journalism, I'm Emma Smith.